What does that even mean, Bowers Game Here, YouTube, I'm back again today for another how to play video, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Hit the Deck. This is for two to six players. Age is six plus. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shuffle up this main deck of cards right here, and you're going to want to deal out seven cards to each player face down in the game, and then set the pile back in the center and flip the top card over. If the card that's flipped over has words on it, then the player to the left of the dealer is going to have to deal with whatever those words are. We'll talk about how those word cards work a little bit later. The only card that can't start at the top of the discard pile is the hit the deck with a hand card. If this happens to be the first card you flip over, then bury it back into the middle of the deck like so and draw the next card until you get one that is not that card. But now the player to the left of the dealer is going to start off the game. And when you first start the game, you'll be taking turns clockwise around the table. And on your turn, what you're going to do is you're going to try to play one card. Now, when you play a card, you have to either match the number or the color on the card. So right now, I could play any purple card or I could play any other four. So after I draw a card from my hand, which once again is secret information, I'm going to place it down on top and my entire turn is over. Now, if you ever look at your hand and you're like, oh, I don't have anything that I could possibly play here. You must draw the top card from the deck. And if you can play it, then play it. And if not, your turn is over. So I could play this, so I would have to play that. And if you ever try and draw a card from this deck and there's no cards there, you take all the cards in the discard pile except for the very top card, shuffle these back up, and boom, you got yourself a new draw pile. The goal is really simple. You're trying to get rid of all the cards in your hand, and if you're able to do that, then you will win the round. Now, where things get more interesting is once you start talking about the special ability cards. So let's go over what each one does. So the first card we'll talk about is the cut the deck card. And when you have one of these cards and you want to play it, it has to be played on the matching color. So I could not play this green one right now. However, I could play the yellow one because it has to match specifically that color. So when you play cut the deck, the next player is then going to take roughly around half the cards in the deck. They're going to flip them over and that will be the new top of the discard pile. The player who did cut the deck, though, has essentially lost their turn. And now it goes on to the next player who then has to deal with whatever the top card in the discard pile is. Now, one quick thing I want to mention here is if the hit the deck with a hand card is ever flipped over right here, you need to announce it. So if you ever are the person who makes it so that this card is on the top of the discard pile, you have to announce it to the rest of the table. And the reason why this is so important is as soon as this card gets played, everyone has to slap it a la Slapjack. And the last player to get their hand on top of someone else's hands or on top of the card is going to have to draw four cards. And then play will continue as normal. Now, two more penalty rules we need to talk about come with the hit the deck with a hand card. So as you know, you're supposed to announce this whenever you flip it over on your turn. If you ever forget to do that, you have to draw four cards in your hand. Also, if a player ever places a hand on the deck when a hit the deck with a hand card was not actually played, that player has been faked out and must draw two cards from the draw pile as a penalty. So next we have the hit the deck with a color and so this one we have right in front is hit the deck with a yellow and when someone plays this and you can play it on any color as you can see it's kind of a wild the next player has to play a yellow card if they don't have one they're gonna have to draw one from the pile and if they can then play it if not put it into their hand and then the next player is going to do the same thing so they have to play a yellow if they can't they draw a card and this will continue until eventually someone plays a yellow card. Now, what could happen is you might play this down and the next person has a yellow and they just play it. And then they hit the deck with the yellow is done with. But it could potentially happen that you could play that card, that it could go all the way around the table, and then it could get to you. And yes, you would have to play a yellow or draw a card. Eventually, someone will play a yellow on this. Hit the deck with a number works the exact same way. So if I were to play this card and I could play it on any color because it's a wild, the next player in turn order have to play a four. If they can't, they draw a card. If it's well, then that case they lucked out and they would play it. But if not, it would go to the next player until eventually someone played a four. So last we have the flip the deck card. So when this one gets played, it has to be played on a specific color. So this one would have to be played on blue. But once you play it, the player who plays it is then going to flip both the decks over. So the discard pile is now the draw pile and the draw pile is now the discard pile. And once you do this, a couple things happen. So first and foremost, if there's a card with text, you have to deal with whatever's on that card. And if you happen to get another flip the deck card, then you just take that card, you bury it somewhere in here and you deal with whatever card is underneath the flip the deck card. Now, in addition to these decks getting flipped, the order is now reversed. So if you were clockwise, now you're counterclockwise and vice versa. And the player who flipped the deck gets another turn. So essentially, playing flip the deck reverses and it lets you go again. Now, eventually what's going to happen is the player is going to play all their cards. Once that happens, you're going to need something to keep track of your score on. And all the other players who didn't get rid of all their cards are going to count up the number of points in their hand. 
any card that is a number counts as that number. So right now I'd have four plus one plus five plus five, so on and so forth. Any card with words in your hand is always going to be worth 10 points. So you total up all these number of points, you would write them down, and after you've written down your scores, if anyone has 100 points or more after at least two rounds, the player with the lowest score will win the game. If no one has reached 100 points, then you just reshuffle, redeal, and play a new round. But that's how you're going to play Hit the Deck. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps me out. Also, if you enjoy learning new games, please consider clicking on the subscribe button as I teach new games all the time. Go have some fun and thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month and as always, thanks for stopping by.